Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial series. In this series, we're gonna talk about horror game and how can we create one from the scratch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create the project. So I will uh, suppose that you already have a Unreal Engine installed on your PC. We are gonna be doing everything in Unreal Engine 5.2, uh, 5.21, I think. Uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna select blank project because I like to do everything from the blank and here we're gonna select blueprint uh, target platform desktop quality preset maximum starter content we can tick but we won't need it and we are gonna disable ray, tra ray tracing as we are not gonna make some complex game and we're gonna call the project horror game or we can call it horror project once it has opened we are gonna be greeted with this level and first thing that we want to do is we want to create a folder and it's not listening to me we are gonna go into content and create a folder call it levels or we can call it maps I will just call it levels so it's easier so we have uh, only levels and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new level We'll right click uh, on the file, left click on the file and new level and we will select mm, basic and we're gonna press create and now we're gonna save this level we're gonna save it under the level ma folder and we're gonna uh, call it uh, map1 as this is gonna be our uh, gameplay map also I want to create a new level but I can just go here and create new level and call it empty level uh, select empty, empty level and call it lobby not lobby actually uh, main menu sorry I was working with some multiplayer, multiplayer projects so okay so now we have main menu this is gonna be our main menu and this is gonna be our gameplay map so in this episode we are just setting up our project and here we're gonna create folder blueprints we're gonna create folder audio we're gonna create folder image and we're gonna create a folder let's call it props and here in our content uh, we can call uh, we can actually create here blueprint classes and let's start by creating character which is gonna be our character so we call the name, uh, we call the project that we are inside right now, Horror Project. So I'm gonna uh, mark it as HP. So HP, uh, player character. Or we can just make character actually. New blueprint class. And let's get player controller. We call it HP, player controller. So what uh, player controller does is it's basically us and whatever we have inside it's gonna control our character and uh, we will create a game mode base call it HP game mode actually we're gonna call it uh, HP game mode HP mm, gameplay GM so we know uh, which game mode are we referring to because we're gonna have also we'll go to the blueprint class game mode base and we're gonna create HP main menu game mode because we're gonna have two game modes and also we're gonna have a new blueprint class H uh, player controller HP uh, player controller HP uh, main menu you see so we are gonna rename the other one to HP Gameplay you see. So I just want to make it tidy and I want to have everything ready so when we start making our project we don't have to create it all uh, again. So we have a game, uh, game mode, we have character, we have player controller. That's it for now that we need. We got everything that we need. Uh, 
I, I did have a tutorial series about creating full game from scratch where I explained uh, what every, every blueprint class does. So I will link it under the video if you want to watch. But I think I will cover everything here that you need to know about the horror. So here we have levels we made. And we need to get insta instance. Blueprint class, game instance, and let's just get a game instance, and let's call it HG, H, uh, HP, sorry, uh, game instance. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the project settings, and we'll go to the maps and modes. We're gonna select the start map to be main menu, also here, and make sure to change game instance. Like this, it's perfect. Now we will go to the levels. We will go to we save select, uh, save selected. Always make sure to save because if the engine crash, you're not gonna have it there. So now we are in our main menu, and if you don't have world setting, just head over to the window and tick the world settings. And now game mode override is the game mode that is gonna be run in in. Um, main menu so we're gonna select main menu game mode and here we can select uh, ge uh, main menu player controller and we're gonna select this to none because we don't need it and that's gonna be perfect yes that's perfect and now we're gonna save selected go to the map one which is gonna be our gameplay map select gameplay game mode uh, pawn is gonna be our HP character, so this is our character. Controller is gonna be gameplay player controller, and uh, okay, what is this? Is this everything else is good? So we didn't create a hood uh, because we are gonna do everything in the UI, and uh, I think we have everything uh, set up. We're gonna press save all, save selected. And this is gonna be it for the first episode and in the second episode we're gonna start ri uh, right into it with the character movement. So we're gonna set up our character to walk and uh, I will uh, try to post uh, uh, every episode that's gonna happen in the steps on my Discord server. So you can check the list of the episode that are about to happen so you know what we are gonna be covering. But for now I will just post like 7-8 of them. Because I have them ready, uh, but in future this I plan to make this tutorial at least 20 plus episodes. Uh, I want to cover everything about the horror. Not a real. I'm not gonna create a li little simple game. I just want to cover everything uh, from the scratch to the packaging. Um, as I had some requests for horror games, and I also took uh, into consideration the comments on the last tutorials that said. Uh, that sometimes I go too fast and I understand. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna try to explain everything what I do and try to make it as friendly to beginner as possible. So see you in the next episode. Just quick reminder that I opened my Patreon so I can keep providing these tutorials for free. Uh, link will be in the description and everyone who donate will be greatly appreciated and also credited at the end of the every video. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.